Hey, it's Monday once again, and we've got great guests tonight. Jay Preston, uh, Tim hey. Friedlander. Check us out. Hey, yeah, that. we got lots of cool stuff to talk about with the Voice Over Collective and uh, why it's important to be involved in the Voice Over community and stuff. And we've got tech stuff. If you've got questions for Tim or Jay or George and I on technical stuff, send it in now to uh, the chat room and uh, we'll have some fun with it. And what else we got tonight, George? We're going to talk tech and some of the new features in Twisted Wave and uh, maybe a new application that's going to save your life if you use Dropbox. Cool. All right. Coming up next on Voice Over Body Shop. Two men, twin sons from different mothers with a passion for voiceover recording technology and the desire to make recording easy for voice actors everywhere. Together in one place. George Whittem, the home studio engineer to the stars, a Virginia Tech grad with an unmatched knowledge of all the latest gear and technology in voiceover today. Dan Leonard, the home studio master, a voice actor with over 30 years experience in broadcasting and recording, and a no holds barred myth busting attitude for teaching you how easy it is. Together, to bring you all the latest technology, today's voiceover superstars, and leading the discussion on how to make the most of your voiceover business. This is VoiceOver Body Shop. VoiceOver Body Shop is brought to you by VoiceOverEssentials.com, home of Harlan Hogan Signature Products. Source Elements, remote connections made even easier. VO2GoGo.com, everything you need to be a successful voiceover artist. J. Michael Collins Demos, award-winning demo production. VoiceActorWebsites.com, where your voiceover website won't be a pain in the butt. And VoiceOver Extra, your daily resource for VO success. And now, live from their super-secret multimedia studio in Sherman Oaks, California, here are George Whittem and Dan Leonard. Good evening. I'm Dan Leonard. And I'm George Whittem. And this is VoiceOver. Body Shop. Or V-O-B-S. We got a crowd tonight. Woohoo. Great to, great to have you here, and thanks for joining us. It's always yeah. crowded in this yeah. <laughs> when it's this It's small. a little more crowded in here than usual. Spread out. But let me introduce our guest tonight. Uh, let's see here. I'll get this right here. Okay, right. Oh, no, no, like that. There we go. Okay. I get the names right? I know. Yeah, right. okay. okay. Uh, Jay Preston created the VoiceOver Collective in 2011 as a private Facebook group in order to keep in touch with his classmates from VO workshops, or, uh, workshops around LA. He realized the importance and trustworthy collective of friends and valuable information. And his friend, Tim Friedlander here. Oh yeah. Also an accomplished voice talent musician and recording engineer, began the collective's weekly workout a few years ago, featuring great voiceover coaches and directors, evaluating participants' performances, and is now one of the most respected weekly workshops in LA and around the country, because you guys do it oh, all over the place. Uh, we'll talk yeah. about the value of this incredible voiceover community and how we can help each other succeed. And your big thing is, we rise, we rise together. together. Great to have you gone, guys. It's nice right. to be here. Yeah, Tim, yeah, you've been is. here before, Jay. Yeah. Uh, you've shown I've been up in here and before. Out before. Yeah, 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 yeah. You know, fun stuff. But uh, since you since you've been on the show before, yes. we'll yes, talk yes. to you second. Sure. Though. Tell us a little bit about yourself <laughs> and and you know how you get, where you're from originally and and how you got into voiceover. Uh, well, I am from Boston area. Boston, all right. I am about thirty minutes south of Boston, a little place called Newton. Newton. And then every other weekend was in Newton, <laughs> Newton, Newton. <laughs> and I grew up doing theater, and I uh, did theater since I was in high school and all the way in through college. And I worked in Boston doing theater at the Medieval Manor, which is sadly gone. Um, and then I did two years touring children's theater across the country. My first time in California was during that tour. Uh, and then I got in, I came out here for on camera, mostly almost like 12 years ago, and then fell into voiceover about six years after I got real jaded on the on camera world. It happens. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I was mostly getting cast as pirate and hipster and 
and homeless guy. A homeless guy. Those homeless are, those guy, homeless number fun. one. Can you come in like a little yeah. extra dirty? And, <laughs> yeah, uh, so I was like, no, I got to go. So I was about to leave, and then I randomly found the VO bug and realized I could do everything that I always wanted to do, just no one sees my face, which is perfectly fine. Yeah. <laughs> well, it's not like you have a face for radio. But yeah. yeah. <laughs> but yeah. Yeah. Tim? Uh, same we, question. We, I've been. I mean, I've been here before. I yeah. Don't know. See, I can make up. Make, I can make up something for this well, time well, around. Well, watch it. Watch it. Tell uh, us what's going on lately. I mean, we, we got to make it up to you because last yeah. time we had some <laughs> audio major pro- audio. It's the first time you've actually been here. So <laughs> it's, always, it's always just been. It's been Dan and I yeah. doing our thing. Um, well, actually, um, I guess Jay, Jay and I met through voiceover, mm-hmm. and we met at a Vio Dojo Fight Club one yeah. night. And I think we bonded over hats or something, hats and wine, more than You're likely. You're not supposed to tell anybody about it. Oh, that. yeah, sorry. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Whoops. Okay. Sorry. Um, and we just kind of started, I kind of started hanging out in the VO Collective. Yeah. And I had started, actually, in 2014, I had started the Gardner Street Workout Group, which is my weekly um, group that I do, actually. And yesterday was the five-year anniversary of the Gardner Street Workout Group. Yay! Uh, which is crazy. Um and uh, Denny Hankel happens to be here right now, is one of the first members of that group. And five years later, we're still going strong. And about a year after I started that, or actually uh, after I met Jay, I, I kind of opened it up to the VO Collective people. And I was like, hey, why don't we invite some more people, VO people be interested in coming to this thing? And we started doing a Wednesday workout. And then we started doing every Wednesday. And then we started getting guest directors every Wednesday. And that was, that's been three years for that, or four years that since flies. that thing started. Um, and then eventually we branched out into doing an online workout, which is the VO Weekly workout, um, when the industry dramatically changed, when certain companies disappeared and other companies merged and all that good stuff um we i knew we couldn't compete with them on the voiceover casting side of things but i knew we could for education that we could bring something to the education front of this and so we launched the vo weekly workout online which has been uh going on two years now i think yeah um and that's kind of what's happening now um and then the wednesday or the thursday thursday sunday gardner street group is now actually two days a week so we do thursday and sunday because we have so many people in it that can't make it necessarily on Thursday, and traffic, as everybody knows, is always fun at six o'clock, seven o'clock yeah. on a Thursday yeah. night coming from the valley how's, to uh, get to Hollywood. Uh, how's VOC and Gardner Street fit together? Um, we we partner on this, but we definitely maintain um, our our separation. In you know, yeah. VOC is Jay's thing, Gardner Street, Gardner Street is my thing. And they're like brothers. Yeah, they're yeah. brothers. Um, you know, but when it comes down to it, you know, Jay has the final say in the voiceover collective, and then, and then I have the final say in the Gardner Street group. Cool. Um, though we definitely, you know, confer and, and, and discuss. And we share and, a lot of the same yeah. ideals anyway. Yeah. So. yeah. Yeah. Well, let's talk a little bit about, about the voiceover community. I mean, mm-hmm. I, it, I was at like one of the first conferences back in 2007, and we mm-hmm. discovered, oh, we all have this stuff in common. <laughs> We should all hang out together for yep. whatever reason. Mm-hmm. Uh, but it seems like you put people in a room who are all voice actors, and you can't get us out of the room. Right. Yeah. <laughs> Even if you want to leave, you can't. Uh, but let's talk about what you think is important about the voiceover community. Jay, I mean, because you, you started your own here, sort yeah, of, here I, in L.A. Yeah, I did, but, you know, again, it was, it start. I didn't know it was going to become what it kind of has become, and it sometimes gets out of hand. We, George and I know that. <laughs> so you all know, yeah, as, <laughs> and anyone yeah, who yeah. is like, listen, who, who's part of it all is like, yeah. yeah but, yeah. you know, I started it just to keep in touch with people who were like-minded for my, on, on You know, you're in a group of 10 people in a workshop and there's two that you're like, man, they're talented. They are going places and they we jive well. You know, like I get along with like when I met Tim at that workshop, I I did two years of just training in L.A., Mm. went to workshop after workshop, group after group. And I just I was going to so many that there was I can't keep track of who's who and what their names are. And then you'd see them again in some other workshop. And I was like, how do I keep track of these people? Because business cards suck. So (laughs) I, I. did this thing where i started a little tiny group it was 10 of us then 20 and then 40 and i think you were you were definitely within the first 50 i think and uh yeah yeah, and so then we just it was all like-minded and it was so Mm. controllable that way and it was like whenever we we got a get together everyone came out and it was a get together and what (laughs) i've noticed over the last however years that this has been going on is it ebbs and flows with community so Mm. there was a core group 
and that was the core group and we always did these things and then as a hundred more people showed up 30 50 dropped out and a new core group kind of came on board and yeah. and i tried to keep it where it was like just just my types of mindsets people you know and it's pretty wide range like the bad eggs there's not that many of them but i did try to keep it just a nice tight group and the bigger it got and the more people i allowed to let people in the more little things snuck in that we had to like deal with (laughs) and so it's been more of dealing with problems these days than it is about like the fun that it used to be now you feel like you're in management now i do yeah Yeah. and like customer service and And i wasn't i wasn't as busy as i am now back then so i had so much time to to put into just Mm. running a community and a group and everyone you know i knew everybody so like if a client had some casting and they were like you know could you get us some quick voices i knew everyone's voice very yeah. well and especially when yeah. we started doing the workshops together yeah. then everyone every wednesday i heard all of us yeah. more and more so you're top of mind so i was able to just quickly within like two people get something cast for somebody and uh or help out a client of mine and so that's it's weird how it just changes it's just <laughs> it's not what it used to be and that's why i was like if i yeah. could just do it i would just start a whole new one yeah. <laughs> and then start again from where i am now learn when from I, your mistakes and yeah what would you do differently well i would do this uh, thing is is when i started i started it not knowing a lot so anyone who mm. came in they brought information and now i know a lot and now i'm still learning but but it's not the same because it's not that organic, like, oh, this, that, oh, how cool. What? There's a microphone called a TLM-103? What? Let's try it. Like, that's gone. Like, all that's gone. And now you I think find, it's gone. I, I, but I know I'm still seeing it. People are, people are coming up into yeah. it. So I, yeah. I, I always say, create your own group. Doesn't mean yes. you're not going to be mm-hmm. invited into whatever we do together event-wise mm-hmm. or... Just make your own. It's, it's not that hard to just put something together and make something happen every week, and then and then reach out and invite people. Like there's a yeah. lot of groups out there, and mm-hmm. just make a new one because it, it, it has this cool thing when they start. It just is, it's unexplainable, and I can't get it back. I've tried, <laughs> but it had that thing when it started, and I it's not there anymore. Every now and then it is, you know. It's like a maybe Christmas time now. Yeah. It's like that's when it, well, you it know, feels it, like most community. It grew. It grew. It grew. It grew. Out of hand. And. And it takes on a life of its own, and it yeah. takes on a personality of its own, and it takes on, you know, I think it changes, it changes the the needs of the group changes. Yeah. And so that kind of, it does, it adds, it flows. And, you know, I think part of it is seeing what what needs to be handled at any given moment and what's important to the community at that, you know, that time, which, you know, isn't always drinking wine and partying, you know, which always. most it's, of the it time, like it it's is every other time, Thursday but... it is. Um, <laughs> you know, but yeah, I mean, it becomes... It, it, I think I think part of that too is like the professional the level of the people has has increased throughout the group so you yeah. get people who are like who are less hobbyists or less getting into this and they're on the professional level and they want they're here because they want to get more information about working yeah right. and sometimes they're not always interested in coming to the parties except when we give away Christmas prizes yeah and then well, everybody's well, yeah. so. the, the, <laughs> no. the, the Christmas parties with this group uh, I, the first one I went to and I guess I think it was the first guys first one you guys did at, at Bo, Bo Stevenson's no, house? No, it was, it was the year after that. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. But I, was, I, but yeah, I, I walked in there, and I'm like, Jesus, I'm, it's, I was having these deja vu flashbacks of fraternity house parties. Because <laughs> there was just so many people, and everybody's mm. got a beer. And I'm like, you know, being an older guy, mm. I don't see that very much anymore. Yeah, you know, I was like, yeah. let's go to a dinner party. And I'm like, we don't see that very much here. either. I mean, so wait, did it make yeah. you feel young? Or did it, it make did. you feel old? I, I took That's 20 years off of me. It was great. Nice, nice. Yeah, you know, but we, I, you know, you meet so many people at, at mm-hmm. those types of gatherings. Yeah. You know, yeah. and uh, yeah. you know, and, you, and there are people you make friends with, and mm-hmm. you know, when yeah. you see them in another social situation, or you run into them, you know, in a studio somewhere where you're yeah. you're auditioning for something that they're auditioning for, and mm-hmm. I'm like, oh, great, they're here. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Or so they happen to be one. the yeah they're the casting director or they're the you know they're the booth director or they're yeah. you know you walk in and you're like oh hey how's it going I just saw you last week how's that you yeah know? Ab- so absolutely you never know who's going to be who and who's going to be where so. yeah. yeah now this is now we're talking just generally here in Los mm. Angeles but yeah. the the voiceover collective is nationwide because you're on Facebook so we've got you've got members mm. from all over the place all over the place yeah we got mm. members everywhere and we now and then I built the website that connects them even more in a way. Um, so we have, and he's even got the Gardner Street. Where does it? We've got, in, got, we have a group in Philadelphia. Philadelphia that runs in oh, Philadelphia. Oh, um, cool. Gardner, Gardner Street, Philly. 
Yeah. What's um, the name of the studio owner there? Uh, that's J- Jamie Muffet. Jamie Muffet. Okay, Jamie Muffet yeah, runs Jamie, that. Yeah, yeah, Jamie's awesome. So he does. He put together like voice actors of Philadelphia, um, and I reached out to him, like you know, to offer up just say, hey, I see what you're doing and offer some help. Like I ran through, you know, we spent an hour on the phone. I'm like, here's all the things that I learned in the first two years of how to do this. And I right. laid out all the, you know, the things that I learned and what what I found that worked and what didn't and gave, you know, gave them some advice. And we try and help, you know, um, help help them run something um, that is going to be, that, that at least kind of help with some of the pitfalls that I ran into, which is going to be, you know, nobody's going to show up for the first six months. And then right. the first year is going to be slow, but you keep doing it and you keep doing it and people hear about it and they find that something is there and they start to show up. And now we're trying to integrate them into the L.A. group. Um, we're going to start bringing them in and have them, you know, the first part of our groups is like a chat for the first half hour or so. We're going to start inviting the Philly, Philly group to join us for that and hopefully, you know, kind of bring them and make them feel a part of the group no matter where they are. Right. Well, that's the great thing about the technology, I mean, the fact that we can know. do this show, right. even though we've been doing it for eight years, uh, that we're really a global village now. Yeah. And that mm-hmm. you can bring people in virtually like that. Yeah. And, and it's almost like having them in the room. And yeah. uh, so there's there's a lot of value in doing that. And I think it's great that you know there's a lot of communities that, you know, local communities that have started yeah. their own meetup groups, oh, yeah. and I've, I've I've always envisioned making them all chapters of one big organization. Right. <laughs> you know, sort of like Hadassah, uh, but uh, <laughs> <laughs> just like that. Yeah, just uh, just to raise money for you know the central organization. <laughs> but uh, what is it about voiceover, though? I mean, there's a lot of other professions mm-hmm. uh, where. You know, there are professional associations. I mean, we have our own industry association, and, and we won't talk about the other stuff here. But yeah. what is it about voiceover specifically that people really enjoy getting together? Because actors don't like doing that. I mean, when you get together yeah. with actors, it's all like, oh, it's you. And uh, you, know, you know what I, th- I think I've been noticing more mm-hmm. and more about that is <laughs> when you come to a meetup, uh, get together, uh, whine about VO night or whatever... Almost no one is talking about voiceover. <laughs> Almost they're ju- they're talking about themselves, their dogs, the other their stuff kids. they do because yeah. yeah. we have time to do more than just. But if you go yeah. to an act like an on camera act, not all of them. I'm sure so many people will be like, not mine. But uh, if you go to an on camera place for networking, it's everyone's out to. Like if you're not important enough, you kind of get shunned on to the next thing, and like yeah. it's all about each person individually like in a selfish way mm, but it yeah. just doesn't i don't know if i'm explaining it right but it just we aren't we're just hanging out and i think mm. and we're having a good time and no one's trying to get another job really right. from anybody and there because there's so much work out there and it's all individual based on how we mm. sound and what we can do that is not as cutthroat that i think i think people just yeah. jive with that more. Yeah, I don't. I've been trying to figure that out myself, and I don't know why. <laughs> I mean, I think part of it is that you know it, it's it's a very isolated business, and you know, in and of itself, and just the fact that you get to get out of your booth and go and just hang out, with people. You know, I mean, when you're, you know, I played, did music, and I came through education, and and you see all the same people at the same rehearsals and the same auditions. You're like, you know, I don't want to hang out with you. I've been did like five hours of rehearsals with you, and I saw you at that rehearsal and that rehearsal. And in you know in this you're like you do all your work you get done you get to leave you get to go and see people, um, which is I think is just the very basic of it is like you get out of your booth, you know. Um, and then I was thinking you probably don't really want to be like so I was uh, talking today about mitochondria and right. how like it, like we're not going to explain our daily work because it's boring right. mostly. <laughs> But that's so, half the fun. But it is. Yeah, I, yeah. I had one last week on <laughs> nematodes. I thought, uh, I was like, boy, there's a, this is something I never thought I would talk about. Yeah, but yeah. but that, I, you're right. That's the fun part. You know, I the, was doing this great script about rectal polyps. and uh, <laughs> <laughs> no, Said no one ever. Yep, said, but, said no one. But, in but sometimes that's the fun part, though. Just to say, hey, look, what weird crap did you do this yeah. week? Yep. Speaking anyway. <laughs> If you're just joining us, our guests are Tim Friedlander and Jay Preston. We're talking about the VoiceOver Collective. If you've got a question for Jay and Tim about the VoiceOver Collective, and I know you're all out there, so ask your questions, as silly as they may be. Uh, put them in the chat room, because Mike Merlino, Sue's son, is out there taking down all the notes and making sure that we get those questions to tell and ask to these two, who are great guys and uh, 
we have a great time when we hang out with them, too. The, the funny thing about Ooh. the parties is, though, I, <laughs> I go in there. And I never get to talk to everybody I want to. One, because yeah, you can't move. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and two, everybody's grabbing me. Dad, I gotta ask you about this. Right. I gotta ask you about that. And I, I, I gotta talk to this person. No, and then you get yeah, dragged yeah. over somewhere else. Yeah. Fun parties. There yeah. you go. And I, it, it's a great group of people, and I think it's just great, mm. like you said, just to have some adult conversation. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and, or some uh, conversation. Any conversation. And you can make yeah. some really, really <laughs> solid. Like some of my best friends oh, yeah. are. Yeah. I came out of out of the group you know and it's just yeah. people who have your back and if you know if i could if i need to turn to anybody it's i'm mostly going to turn to if i don't turn to my family yeah. first right or you know my fiance i'm going to turn to the group and right. yeah. i'm mostly just turning to tim a lot yeah right tim, I, uh, <laughs> I know, and i yeah. think everyone does <laughs> that but you yeah. know you should you should talk mm. on because i could too mm. but how everyone turns to you to solve their problems uh, which is a thing it's um, you know groups are fun but i yeah. think you know it's not just there's so much so much in there you know and don't people just turn to you all the time I, I i get a lot of questions um you know i i guess i mean all my friends are in voice my, my friends are only voice over now i actually ditched everybody um, <laughs> i did in in 20 in 24 2014 2014 2015 about the time i started pursuing voiceover i got rid of everybody else in my life wow, and yeah. i it was people, and I, I was thinking about it on the ride right, right over here because I was doing a lot of stuff that I wanted to do. I was playing in in playing music I wanted to play. I was doing orchestra music. I was doing session work. I was playing guitar. I was playing clarinet. I was doing getting was writing. Getting, getting, <laughs> yeah, master's degree, but um, I'm a, a doctorate's never gonna happen. Um, <laughs> but I hated it all because I didn't like who I was doing it with. Mm -hmm. So the stuff could have been fun. But I didn't like the people I was playing with. I didn't like people I was working with. N not not wholesale everybody, but for the most part, the people that I was really close with and really working with, I just didn't like them. And there was nothing invested. I wasn't invested in them personally. They weren't invested in me personally. And it just wasn't fun. It wasn't enjoyable. And I literally, I mean, I ditched, I got rid of everybody. I like maybe two or three people that I was friends with in 2014 I'm friends with now. And everybody I'm friends with is in voiceover. And... Um, that goes down. It's Jay. That's Carson Beck, who's sitting over here. Who he and I, I think we met. We got introduced in February, and by June of that year, he was running my studio. And we were just like, like he came over one day, and I'm like, oh, what's happening? He's like, yeah, hey, I'm Carson. I'm like, cool. You're from Washington. Cool. Okay, here, take over. Um, and that's and it just kind of everybody is just like I think I you think he wanted to take over. I think he wanted to take over. Yeah, yeah that's a possibility. Well, it's, it's a gorgeous studio. <laughs> what can we say? He might have a baby face. <laughs> but he it's is cutthroat. He is the baby face uh, assassin. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um, I you know I think I think I think part of it is is that I'm I'm in the middle of so much stuff that at least if I don't if I don't have an answer I at least know where to send people. I mean I send people mm -hmm. to Carson. I send people to George. I send people to Dan. I send people to you because I know who can answer these questions and who's going to be a reliable person to ask. And I think that really is more, is more than anything. Um, you know, it's, I, I just, I, I, I remember what people do and I remember who was good at what things. And if I don't know the answer, I can find somebody who can. Yeah. Um, and I think that is, you know, just kind of, you're coming out of education, you come out of teaching, it's like, you know, well, you know, it's a good, it's a good question. I don't know the answer, but let me go find out. You come back tomorrow and you know everything about it. Um, and so that I think really, really is a big, a big part of that. Yeah. Um, Just being able to trust yeah. everybody is a big thing. Yeah. I can trust yeah. everyone. Yeah. You know, and we, yeah. that's who we try to. Yeah. You try to populate everyone around, just so you don't have to be on edge and be worried. Right. You just want to. Yeah. Just relax and have a yeah. good time, especially after sitting or standing and talking all mm, day right. long. The, yeah. la the last thing I want to do when I go hang out is like stress and talk about stress <laughs> and drama. Right. Like, I just want to have fun when I'm done with the day and just say things I want to say. Right. <laughs> Once again, our guests are Jay Preston and Tim Friedlander. We're talking about the voiceover collective. Again, if you've got a question, throw it in the chat room because we'll ask them those questions in our next segment. So stay tuned. We'll be right back after these incredibly important messages. Yep, this is VOBS. Proven anybody can have a show these days. Well, hello there. I bet you weren't expecting to hear some big-voiced announcer guy on your new orientation training for Snapchat, were you? This is Virgin Radio. Well, okay, we're not that innocent. There's jeans for wearing and there's jeans for working. 
dickies. Because I ain't here to look pretty. She's a champion of progressive values, a leader for California, and a voice for America. It's smart. It's a phone. It's a smartphone. But it's so much more. It's a, the files are ready. Don't forget to pick up the eggs. What time is hockey practice? Check out this song. It's the end of the road for Rick. It's just you and me, Rick. When hope is lost. The I-8 from BMW. Who said saving the planet couldn't be stylish? Hey, it's J. Michael Collins. Bet you think I'm going to try and sell you a demo now, huh? I think they speak for themselves. But I will give you my email. It's jmichael at jmcvoiceover.com. Now, if Dan will stop waxing his mustache for a minute, we'll get back to the show. What question do we get most often? Well, far and away, it's how do I even get started in voiceover? And we have a great answer to that question. Take vo 2 go free Getting Started in VO class. You heard right, it's free, and it's available online 24-7 at gettingstartedinvo.com. That's gettingstartedinvo.com. If you've been watching VOBS and thinking that you need to get in gear and start your own voiceover career, this is the class you should start with. You'll learn about the vocal skills you need, the storytelling skills you need, the equipment you need, and the business skills you need all in one single comprehensive online class taught by vo to go David H. Lawrence the 17th. This class won the Backstage Reader's Choice Award four years in a row. And again, there's no charge. It's absolutely free. Want to take it? Sure you do. Go to gettingstartedinvo.com. That's gettingstartedinvo.com. As a voice talent, you have to have a website. But what a hassle getting someone to do it for you. And when they finally do, they break or don't look right on mobile devices. They're not built for marketing and SEO. They're expensive. You have limited or no control. And it takes forever to get one built and go live. So what's the best way to get you online in no time? Go to voiceactorwebsites.com. Like our name implies, voiceactorwebsites.com just does websites for voice actors. We believe in creating fast, mobile-friendly, responsive, highly functional designs that are easy to read and easy to use. You have full control. No need to hire someone every time you want to make a change. And our upfront pricing means you know exactly what your costs are ahead of time. You can get your voiceover website going for as little as $700. So if you want your voice actor website without the hassle of complexity and dealing with too many options, go to voiceactorwebsites.com, where your VO website shouldn't be a pain in the you-know-what. VOBS is still on? And we're back with Jay and Tim talking about the voiceover collective. We've got a few questions that we'll get to mm -hmm. in a couple a couple minutes here. Again, if you've got a question, throw it in the chat room. Throw it. And uh, we'll throw it at them and see if it sticks. He'll catch it. Uh, I catch it, yeah. <laughs> it causes bodily harm. That's yeah. right. You know, we can have a little, a little game of catch here with it and we'll <laughs> see what happens. Um, now, you started the, the weekly workouts, and mm -hmm. that's sort of evolved a little bit. Because I, you know, I remember going to those when I when I first arrived yeah. in L.A., and that was a lot of fun. And, yeah. you know, met people, and it was great. Yeah. What was the what was the impetus to start that, and how is it going right now? I, I mean, it's... He's always been doing workout groups. Yeah, I've been doing... I started that in 2014, um, basically bec um, because I, I was failing at this. I was failing at voice. That's all I would say. I was failing at it, and I actually went to Voice 2014 and met a bunch of people who were in the same boat that I was. And I was, I mean, I've, I've, I've talked about this before, I was, I was, that was the day that I quit voiceover. It was the day that I met everybody um, in, in Anaheim and decided to keep doing voiceover. But I had a space, I, I had a studio um, that I had been using for music. I've been doing, you know, session work. I've been, it was, you know, those of you who've been there, it was, it was plywood floors and plywood walls, and... Um, I was like, well, hey, I got, I have a booth and I have a microphone. Why don't I invite some people over? We can all get on a microphone and see what it's like to actually be on a microphone. Um, for those who had never actually been in a studio and started inviting people out. And for the first six months, I had nobody. Um, and eventually the word got around that it was there. I saw somebody post about it on Facebook. Hey, looking for a workout group. I said, hey, come on over and, and join, you know, join this group. And that, that was the Gardner Street workout group, um, which now runs um, G Street which is Wednesday and Sunday, or Thursday and Sunday, 
And then Jay and I emerged to form the Gardner Collective Workout Group, which is the Wednesday one. And then out of that, we then started the VoiceOver Weekly Workout, which is the online one. Yeah, right. Um, and they're all... They're just all, they're all, yeah. you know, the, the one that we formed but... together. And the reason I thought it was a good idea was because I had, like I said, I did two years of just study when I, because yeah. I, I went to an agency and I did the audition and they said, basically, uh, you're, you're a horrible at voiceover, but you're a really good actor, but I, I would take some classes. <laughs> and, um, I just started taking classes uh, and I was like, I wanted to get better. <laughs> no, but it came from like a really solid place and it came from yeah. a truthful and, and I really mm. wanted like lit the fire again. So I just did classes and I spent mm. all of the money that I had had yeah. on classes because they're so expensive, especially some really mm. good ones that you want to take and you don't want to miss the opportunity and you don't want to miss the learning from this icon or this amazing director. And so you just spend it. And then when we started to talk about it, I was like, well, I would love to bring something to, to the to the community that that maxed at 50 because i almost always was able to just do a 50 dollar workshop you know but the 150 the 375 that 680 for six weeks like i can't always do that and you i don't want to be wanna... really selective after. yeah you gotta yeah. You had to be really selective so we, yeah. we wanted to just do it and, and the way we did it was because it's private groups so it wasn't like everyone in the world knew how much it was going to be and we weren't advertising for it was really just so this director could, I mean, they weren't making what they usually would make on, on our workshop, but they, they knew that they were going to get solid people to come in and really teach them something good and they really want to learn because we have a wait list on, on our things. And we thought it was a great idea, and it was a great idea, and people yeah. like it really took off. And then out of the Voice Over Weekly Workout, the, the coolest thing about that, and it's unlike anything that's out there, is that you can listen to 100 people's auditions from their yeah. home their best one take you can listen to them then you can read all the feedback they got individually mm. so if you did one and you didn't get the feedback you wanted you could go look for the feedback you wanted hear what that sounded like and you can mm. start to and you can really spend more time learning after the workshop's over yeah so ev mm. everybody everybody's uh, reads are available to everybody on else. on the via weekly workout yeah yeah, yeah. on that one if you participated yeah. you can read everyone's feedback and mm. hear all their stuff and i think it's really invaluable yeah. like and in for ten dollars a pop it's like yeah. it's like a master class if you can if you sit there and do it the right way and yeah. use it to your advantage mm. see if you can copy what that person did and see what what was it what little min minimal things did they do that made it stick out to the director's ear yeah yeah so if somebody wants to participate in these or get involved with the the collective where can they go? Well, the VO Weekly Workout is online. That's open to anybody. That's voweeklyworkout.com. 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 <laughs> Just don't um, say it like that. Yeah. <laughs> um, and that's um, that's open. We've right, we've got, we're, we're about a little over 1,100 members on the site. Ah. And, that's um, the dot-com site. The dot-com site, yeah. yeah. Um, and out of, you know, out of that, we, we average about 60 to 75 per workout okay. that we do. And we have people all over the world. We've got people in... I think last time I looked, we had somebody in Austria. We have a bunch of people in Alaska, um, a bunch of people in South America who are doing it, or at least who are who are signed up, and from people who don't have access. If you're the only person in your town doing voiceover, you're the only person in your area, you don't have access to the places. I think it's a great opportunity to, to you know, read maybe copy that you never would would get a chance to see, or for a director or a coach you would never get a chance to work with. Yeah. Um, though most coaches are available online, a lot of, you know, a lot of coaches do online work now in a way that they didn't do even a couple or three or four years ago um and as far as like you know the gardner street workout group is is one of those things that like we don't talk about it um apparently we don't we, we talk about it now um no and we always we, we talk about it but it's one of those things like you know it's it's hidden it's private if you if you meet somebody and they tell you about it and you get invited to the group you can welcome to come in as i my studio i always say is open to everybody if you want to come in and join our group and see what's happening and try voiceover and be a part of this group. You need a place to go. My place is up. My door is always open um, at my studio. And um, I think it's important for, you know, I, it was important for me. I did it more for myself. <laughs> it's a selfish reason. I did it more for myself, but I, I didn't, I was just the opposite of Jay. I didn't go to any, any of the classes. I didn't know. I didn't have a, a anybody I trusted well enough to say, cool, where do I spend my 200 bucks now? Or where, what class should I go do? What workout should, what workshop should I do? So I didn't do anything. I did exactly the opposite. I did nothing. Um, hence the reason why I, would, I was failing at it. I didn't practice. I didn't study. I didn't coach. I didn't 
explore current trends. I didn't read copy. I didn't do any of the things that you should be doing. But and you then, did go to that one. But I went we to the met. one and where we met. Yeah. <laughs> and look what that did for And me. there you go. <laughs> and the rest is history. Yeah. Um, I mean, and so I met, you know, I met, I met Carson at a, at a, at before that. We met, is that where we met? Yeah. So it's Carson Beck over here. Um, <laughs> yeah, we met at Gardner Street, came into my studio, and that's where we met. My door, yeah, so someone referred him, and that's how he found about it. And, and then he said, I'm going to run this place. Yeah. When I was like, hey, I'm leaving on tour in June. You want to take over? He's like, yeah, sure. <laughs> and run the place. So. <laughs> I didn't burn it to the ground. He didn't burn it to the ground. <laughs> and my dog was still there when I got back. So that was all. <laughs> that, was good. that was the real test. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And we all know Cho is the most important part of the Cho is the street. most important part. Yeah. Yeah. Well, we got a bunch of questions from our uh, worldwide audience for Voice Over Body Shop. George, uh, what do we got? We got the first one is from Get Fred's Voice, and uh, this one's probably maybe maybe all of us can chime in on this. It's not yeah. specifically about VOC. Mm. Um, he says, "I want to dump GoDaddy, <laughs> but I still want to build my own site. Uh, what are some good alternatives?" Well, I mean, I'll start with what did you build your platform? What platform did you guys build your? I'm I'm in Wix. I Same mean, I I, sw I swear by it now. I mean, it's. You know, if it it does for me, it does everything that I want to do, and we built the the, the Video Weekly workout is is built off of that. It lets us do, um, you know, all of the all the let us sell the tickets, lets us do things directly through that site. Integrations in it. A lot of integration. Yeah, that's really the biggest thing. It's got a lot of integration, and it's got a lot of um, looks good. You yeah. know, I mean, and it's they're got, keeping up with that. I mean, they're yeah. they're always whatever's new, they get and they make it available yeah. to you to just drag and drop. Yeah. And it's easy. I mean, I did, I was, I started in like HTML and I went to Dreamweaver and then went to like WordPress and a bunch of other stuff. And, you know, I've been on Wix for a long time and it's great. Dan, I mean, um, WordPress is the 800 pound gorilla these days. Well, it is. I mean, yeah. are you, is your current site on WordPress? My, I, everything's on WordPress. Yeah, you know, yeah. I'm with voice actor websites and web stuff with our good friend, Joe Davis, and he maintains it all instead yeah. of, you know, and, or he at least lets us maintain it. Like you guys are, you know, you're able to do with Wix. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, we are, so. well, our first, I mean, VOBS was on Wix for a long time. Right. Because like when we decided to change the name and start a, actually, it was before, before VOBS, right? Yeah. I think when we first decided to start the show, that was the web host I found. That was easy that I could understand. Yeah. yeah. Um, I, you know, Greg, I mean, He's talking about GoDaddy. GoDaddy is a host. They also have a WYSIWYG editor yeah. like yeah. yeah, not the best thing. Yeah. Um, yeah. I've seen it. I know that it works, but not the greatest. One um, good thing you can do with Wix is it's free to just start making the site. Yeah. So you can just yeah. make it. And if, just has a little if it doesn't turn out, you why you just don't publish it. You don't. Right. You know <laughs> yeah. what I mean? You just make yeah. it. Just go have fun. You can just try it right now yeah. for free. And I have a dozen of those yeah. that just didn't work out. They're just sitting there. Yeah, they're just sitting there. <laughs> Mine's great. still running on Squarespace. I think it's five or six and i think they're up okay. to eight okay. it's about seven or eight years old yeah <laughs> um and i keep wanting to go to a new host or a new system and every time i do it i'm like oh but then i have to yeah and then i'm gonna have to yeah, oh, yeah. forget that oh my, yeah, my yeah. son jacob just started redid his website all in html Oh my! From the ground up. Yeah, oh. from the ground up. He had a friend that would do it. Oh wow. Go check out lensstarproductions.com. It's right. it's actually a pretty amazing site. I mean, yeah. if you're gonna build it from scratch from the ground, I think my cousin's into web design. I think Bluehost was one he would always talk about as a but, yeah. solid hosting. I mean, Bluehost platform. has been it, yeah. Um, from so. Yeah, your site's from scratch. Carson's site. Nerd. Um, Scratch.com. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Most of you are not going to want to start your site from no, scratch. No, no, no. I used no. Dreamweaver way yep. back in the day to yep, build yep. pages from scratch. Yep. Man, was that hard. Yeah. Yeah. What's the second question there? Um, his follow-up is, um, this is more about the group mm. now. Um, when you started the group, uh, were you the moderator, mentor, coach, or what? So I'll start with Jay. I was the what? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Uh, I started it. I was the moderator because I made the group, and then, um, but I was just, I was still learning in the learning phases of everything, so I wasn't a coach. I never claimed to be <clears throat> then, and um, now I don't even claim to be, but I will coach every now and then. I do little audition coaching and stuff like that when I have time, and, um, and now Tim's my moderator. I have, I have <laughs> yeah. yeah, I still yeah. run it as the, what is it called? 
The voice wasn't. I don't know. That wasn't on there. Oh, I'm, I still run it as the what? The what? And right, he's, yeah, yeah. he's the moderator. Whatever that one. Yeah. Uh, Brad Venable. <laughs> yeah. Because yeah. so, people I really, really trust, too, and they know exactly yeah. the kinds of people I, I know and like. And they, they meet them a lot more than I do now. Because I used yeah. to meet people and bring them in, and that's how I did it. And I might be going back to that. Yeah. Very soon. Okay. Yeah. I hear this word trust. <laughs> it keeps yeah. Yeah. coming up over and over. Well, I, it, it's, yeah, it's, um, <laughs> I don't know. I mean, to answer that question for for the the gardeners who give, I, I I just always consider myself to be a facilitator, and I just try and um, give people opportunities and you know at least provide some kind of advice and then let them make their choice on you know on on where to go from there. Um, I tend to be the the moderator. Cause I happen to have to have the talk back button during the workout groups, um, but you know I, we try I try and facilitate everybody participating in that as much as possible. Coaching. Um, do you do any coaching? Do you dip your toe in that? Yeah, yeah. no. Yeah. I mean, there's there's enough there's there's enough people to do it. Yeah. And people I get asked every once in a while. My my, my response is like always, eh, no, I don't want to do that. It's yes. pretty much my um, response. You know, it, it's because I mean, that's a big. It's a good response. Yeah, there's enough people. I mean, there not there's enough people. I think there are people who are better suited to do that correctly than I am. Mm-hmm. Yeah, makes All sense. Right. Um. Comment question from Scott Parkin on mm. Facebook. Uh, Scott's guys, watching. Hey, Scott. What's up, Scott? Scott, yeah, Scott yeah. what's going on? Hey, all right. Where's those shop glasses? <laughs> we need them. Yeah. Uh, he says, when you guys promised, you guys promised a new VO Collective yeah. secret handshake. Yeah, so he said new. <laughs> we he said ain't new. Heard Jack. Yeah. yeah. Tim, <laughs> who are your top three? Tim, who are your top three pirates, he says. My top three wow. pirates. Man, did I... What? Does Captain Crunch count? Um, <laughs> he's more of a captain. Yeah, he's a captain. Yeah, he's a captain. Yeah. Jay, 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 Jay's a young, he's a young prospector. Oh, yeah. So, um, <laughs> yeah, he's a young prospector. He's a I'm a young prospector. <laughs> um, well, the new hand, I mean, we're, we're sticking with the old handshake for now because it's so well known. We'll show him the secret one. Yeah, yeah. All right. It's like there. All right. Yeah, see? Yep. We'll teach you that later. Mm-hmm. <laughs> uh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that was totally inappropriate. <laughs> uh, here's one from Paula Fay. Are your workouts in a formal studio or is it more of an informal setting? Because I'm, I'm asking because I organize a new VO meetup or she's in awesome. the middle of doing it yeah. and would like to do something similar. So do you need a studio to do this? You, no, you don't need a studio. Um, I think it's... Uh, it's it's about getting the people there and getting the feedback and getting getting heard and getting somebody to to people to bounce off bounce your reads off of and that can be in any space. Um, I just happen to have a studio, but you by no means do you have. I mean, right. if you have a big you know a big space, you could do something you know in in this space. You don't need a microphone to do it. Um, it's nice if you wanted to go that next step. And provide people who've never been in a studio and show them what the experience is like. You know, when you walk in, don't touch the microphone. If you need to adjust the stand, you need to adjust something. Run them through the process of what that would be like yep. in in that type of setting. Um, but no, I mean, you don't need you, you need a space. You go go to a park. Go to like, I mean, you know, I don't know. Go sit at, find a find a patio at Starbucks and do it. If you're you know, if you get people who are, are there and want to do it, you can do it anywhere. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Um, yeah, there's virtual now. A bunch yeah. of like GVAA does virtual mm-hmm. and. Um, yeah. <clears throat> And then do we do virtual soon. with the yeah. VO Weekly workout. Yeah, I think I think that you know I think the the secret to all that is just to keep doing it. And if nobody shows up, you do it next week. If nobody shows up that week, you do it the week after that. And you get one person and you get two people. And I think when when Denny came in, there were ten of us in the group, yeah. um, and now we're close to four hundred in the Gardner Street. Out of that, we have a solid. We've had a solid crew of about twenty that rotate around there there, there regularly. Um, and everybody, you know, people participate. It's a very, it's an interesting thing because it's it's one of the few groups that I'm in that interacts more off Facebook than they do on Facebook. Um, and like, I, I try and get the Facebook page to do. I'm like, you ask that question, post on the Facebook page, and people are like, nah, it's cool, I'll just ask it in person. Um, which is kind of, which is kind of interesting. Yeah. That's pretty special. Yeah, and then right. someone would bring in cookies, and then you'd be eating chocolate. People bring in cookies, cookies yeah. and, and then you do, you're like, yeah. oh, I'm gonna do my do my reading. Yeah. Um, yep. it was... <laughs> yeah, it's like it's cookies and beer. I think is apparently that's yeah. the secret. That's what it is. You don't need it. It's gonna be totally informal. It's cookies and beer. <laughs> that's what you need. You have one, or you can not yeah. have one. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. You, you still doing your podcast, Jay? Or did you give that one up, or are you still recording things here and there? All that little talking thing? Yeah. I, nope. I, gave, <laughs> I thought that was going to be a good idea, and then I realized I don't have time to do it. So, yeah. But it was yeah. fun. 
No. I have concept. like three of them. <laughs> oh, good. I, I'm I've honored that I'm only one yeah. of three. <laughs> yeah. yeah, but that's but that's acting. You know, you yeah. take that's a chance. Thing. And you don't. So, yeah. against the wall, see I mean, what your sticks. time is. I, I don't. He can make time up out of the blue. I don't know how he does it, but I don't know how he has the time to Coffee even Adderall, be man, here yeah. today. Because every time I hear anything, what's new? Oh. A diatribe of all the things he's doing, <laughs> and yet he's still doing two, three workshops a week, and yeah. and I see him all the time. It's, I don't, because I had a lot of time and I used it into the group, and then I mm. ran out of time, and then I got busier, and then I fell in love, and mm. then I, so now it's all with traveling everywhere, and it's I'm like, oh man, that's why I had yeah. to have them <laughs> help me moderate, yeah. and so. Yep. But don't be afraid when you build these groups and stuff of going on your life life's journey. You know, I didn't think the group would be along this. I didn't think it would get to where it is. So, but now it's a part of my life. <laughs> yeah. So it's not going to go anywhere. It's, yeah, I'm yeah. always going to make sure we get a monthly meeting together if I can. Mm. You know, I'm thinking of new ways to do monthly meetings because like, you got to change and do some new stuff. Right. So we're going to do some fancy, yeah. fancy right. get-togethers yeah. sometime soon. Right. So mm -hmm. if someone wants to get involved, where do they go? Um, I haven't told anyone this yet, but you can now go to the vocommunity.com. And no. it links to the Voice Over Collective website. Yeah, it's an easier thing to... Mm. And it was available. So, <laughs> so right. the VOcommunity.com, get to the mailing list. Any of those events... I try to do at least a couple times a year an event that anyone can come to. You know, mm. we did one up in Paso Robles at the winery. And uh, that was a lot of fun. I there was like a, yeah. There was a good yeah, handful yeah. Of, of... And, and his <laughs> band was playing. And it yes. was so much fun. Yeah. But it was like our first actual getaway that people uh, could come to. And, how many people yeah. did you have for that? Uh, we had like... A dozen, I think. Well, that's, right. that's perfect. Yeah. 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 And uh, the voiceovers, uh, voiceovers.com, he was there. Yes, yeah. right. Matt, was Matt, Matt that's yeah. Right. He was there. Yep. And he, he had a great time. And I got to talk to him about all the upcoming goodies. So, Do but that. yeah, that's where you can pretty much get involved at the moment because yeah. I still want to meet people before they yeah. jump on board. Mm -hmm. So, and then to meet, to meet us. I'm out to an event in LA, yeah, or if right. we happen to be an event, or or mm -hmm. are talking at something like View Atlanta or whatever, then meet us there and yeah. and we'll uh, we'll let you know if we're our type of person. We're gonna mark you on the back yeah, when you can't yeah, read it. Exactly, yeah, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah I, I think at least I, I think meet, meeting in person or coming from you know somebody that that we know and trust, especially at least for the you know like the in person workouts are at my house, mm -hmm. and so it's try, it's you know it's it's slightly different. To just give somebody here, yeah, sure, just come on in. Here's how you get in the door and walk upstairs and come on in. Um, you know, we've had a lot of new people coming in, and everybody who's come in, almost everybody who's come in um, this year has been referred from somebody or heard about it from somebody, you know, that I know. And they called and said, can I get in? And I said, sure, come on out and join us. And, you know, I, I do a little bit of, everybody has to join on the Facebook group, so I do a little bit of background and see who they are. Mm -hmm. um, and just, you know, just kind of see if it's something, you know, are they, are they into voiceover? Are they starting out in voiceover? Um, and just kind of get a feel for where, you know, where, where they are with that. And then, you know, any, every, every week we do, um, Thursday and Sunday and you get on the invite list and you buy a ticket and you come out. Before you go, I just wanted mm -hmm. to also give you a chance to explain quickly and plug Soundbox. So, because it's sort of a network. It's <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Um, so Soundbox, Soundbox LA is the studio. Um, it, where um, where I started the, all the work I grew so my main studio at my right. place, um, which actually is now branching out. We're going to be launching the Soundbox Group, um, which actually going to encompass all of the things that we do because Soundbox Studio Group now has five studios in Los Angeles. So we got Soundbox LA, which is really going to be should be Soundbox Hollywood. So Soundbox <laughs> LA, right. um, Soundbox Studio City, which Carson is Carson Studio. Mm -hmm. Got Soundbox Sherman Oaks, which is Jack Daniel Studio. We just um, opened about a month ago on the West Side uh, with um, uh, Paula Tio and I, I can never get her name right. Um, I should find out since she's part of the group. Mm -hmm. um, and Paul Mercier, um, Paul they Scott. have their studio, um, for Venice Boulevard in four hundred five. Um, which is a great destination on the west side. There's nothing. There's no other studios on the oh, west, west side. side. Okay. Um, and near the overflow. And near the overflow. Yeah, I sent somebody here uh, last weekend. And then now, actually, we're down in Redondo Beach. Also, we have a studio in Redondo Beach. Um, and they're just, you know, they're very just. They're similar places like this, um, where people who are 
full-time voiceover and you can go and do an audition. You can go, we all offer the same services. You can go, you need an ISDN session, whatever you need, you can go and do that there. Um, we have actor rates and we just try and help people out. I mean, it's really, that whole thing grew because of the community. Studio kind of became, I grew the studio based on what people needed. Somebody would come in and said, well, do you guys do ISDN? And I was like, no, but let me explore. Next week I had ISDN before it became a thousand dollars a month. Mm -hmm. um, you know, oh, you know, hey, I, you know, man, I, I want to go to the studio, but I recorded on a 416 last time. Do you have a 416? No, I don't. But give me, you know, a few weeks later, you got a 416. Um, so it built, it was, it's kind of, it, it kind of. based on people's needs. Evolved, mm -hmm. yeah, based on right. people's needs. And good business does. Yeah. yeah. Um, so. Yeah. Well, gentlemen, it, yeah. it's been wonderful watching this group grow since you know since yeah, I yeah. arrived, and you know there was a few of us, and now there's yeah, yeah. a lot of us. <laughs> yeah. But it's also been great watching your careers grow in the last couple mm. of years, and it's always yeah, a yeah. pleasure to see yeah. how you know this stuff is. You're not only helping the community, but you've you know, yeah. also been you know succeeding yourselves, and that's great. So, yeah. but it's great having you on the show. Thanks for being with us. Thank today. you. Thank it you. Was it was a blast. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. Thanks yes. for having us. Yes. 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 Awesome. Yes. 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 Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> All right, well, we're going to take a break, and we'll be right back after this. It's time to talk about our good friend Harlan Hogan and his fantastic website, voiceoveressentials.com. And this week, we got something we're going to let you in on a little bit early. Tomorrow, you're going to see an ad in VoiceOver Extra for VoiceOver Essentials, where you can get $15 off their pop screen for the VO1A microphone fits it perfectly and the Harlan Hogan signature series headphones believe it or not and these are great headphones they are made for voiceover they're made of the best materials memory foam the Twistaflex headband which is comfortable and you can wear it for hours and uh, and it comes with the disconnecting piece on here as opposed to ripping it out and then having to solder it back in because soldering and back headphones not an easy job also i hear it that the porta booth plus may be coming back too so if you want to take advantage of these great savings 15 dollars off if you do it before tomorrow go over to voiceoveressentials.com best way to go there go to the bottom of our home page here you'll see the the, the little icon of Harlan. He's just this little tiny guy in front of his Porta Booth Pro and click on that and that will take you right to voiceoveressentials.com where you can buy all his stuff and he guarantees it. If you don't like it, you can send it back. But what's not to like? Thanks, Harlan, for being our sponsor for eight years. Your dynamic voiceover career requires extra resources to keep moving ahead. Now there's one place where you can explore everything the voiceover industry has to offer. That place is voiceoverextra.com. Whether you're just exploring a voiceover career or a seasoned veteran ready to reach that next professional level, stay in touch with market trends, coaching, products and services, while avoiding scams and other pitfalls. Voiceover Extra has hundreds of articles, free resources and training that will save you time and help you succeed. Learn from the most respected talents, coaches, and industry insiders when you join the online sessions bringing you the most current information on topics like audiobooks, auditioning, casting, home studio setup and equipment, marketing, performance techniques, and much more. It's time to hit your one-stop daily resource for voiceover success. Sign up for a free subscription to newsletters and reports and get 14 bonus reports on how to ace the voiceover audition. It's all here at voiceoverextra.com. That's voiceoverxtra.com. Well, it's time to mention our wonderful sponsors, Source Elements. Those are the creators of Source Connect, and uh, it's a software package that voice actors who are ready to kind of step up to be doing higher level work, specifically or even more so union work, they're working with agents. You're going to hear this a lot, which is you need to have Source Connect. And if you want to go check it out, head over to source-elements.com and get a free trial. This is what you should do. First, go get uh, your iLock account, I-O-L-I-L-O-K.com. That is totally free. Get it set up. Then head over to source-elements.com. Get your account set up over there. Get yourself going with a 15-day free trial. Get it running on your machine. Get, it, get familiar with it. Get through the learning curve of how it works, how it's set up, all that. Get it rocking and rolling. Then, now you're ready to go. Next, you can tell your clients, I've got Source Connect, okay? 
They don't have to know it's on trial right now. It's just there and you know it works. That job comes through, boom, you, you pull the trigger, you go back to your account, and at that point you can buy the license outright or you can sign up for a subscription base, which a lot of people choose to do. It's much less expensive to get up and running. But go give it a try. It's a really, really great package. And this year, hopefully, we, we've got a new version on uh, in development for the last, I think, five years uh, that when it comes out, it's going to be revolutionary. So stay tuned for that. But anyway, source-elements.com. Thanks for your support of our great show here, Voice Over Body Shop. This is Bill Ratner, and you're enjoying Voice Over Body Shop with Dan Leonard and George Widom. VOBS.TV. Well, uh, we're splitting wrap the show. What's that? We're yeah, going to wrap it up wrap because it. it's time to wrap it up. Uh, next week, our guest, we're not sure who our guest is going to be, but we would love it if you would first take our survey on the website and tell us what you think about the show and what you would like to see, what we could improve upon. Do you like what we changed this year? We yeah. changed things up for the 2019. Yeah. So Clearly doing... somebody likes it because a lot more people seem to be watching it's now, true. which the is great. Viewers, views and listens are going up. So. Way up, right. way up. And uh, But if there's a guest you'd like to see on the show, let us know. You know, It might be somebody we can get, might not be. But we'll see. But write to us at the guys at VOBS dot TV and uh, give us a suggestion. We'd really like that. Yeah. And the survey on the website also does have a section on there about suggesting guests. So we're happy to take that suggestion there as well. Hmm. Now, of course, you can donate to our show to keep us going, which we really appreciate. And who are our donors of the week? We do have some. Some of these and many of these actually are subscribers that donate regularly, such as Sarah Borges. CJ Ringwall, Michelle Blanker. Hey, Michelle. Didn't she win the Unicorn Award at VO Atlanta? I believe so. Congratulations. Um, Dr. Nathan Carlson, cool guy. Uh, Antland Productions. Uncle Roy. Him. Graham Spicer, Brian Rausch, and Joseph Harrison, Christy Burns, and Tracy H. Reynolds. All right. A lot of familiar names in there. All right. Thank you so much. Appreciate it. Well, we're in a nice... Studio Bricks uh, booth tonight. It is. <laughs> Virtually, anyway. This one was a recent addition. This one is Joe Cipriano's oh. current home oh. studio setup. That legendary uh, <laughs> setup by the actual owners of the company who came in <laughs> yeah, and, this one and was, set it up for this them. This one was <laughs> assembled by the owners of Studio Bricks. That was amazing timing. The fact I'm, that his booth was delivered and it was the day before NAM. NAM yeah. <laughs> and those guys drove up from Anaheim oh, to was, help us put it together. That was great. Now, somebody did send in a picture this week, but we make it very clear. Send it in landscape, not portrait, because yeah. we're this is a 16 by 9 picture. And, and another mm. little uh, side note on that as well. Don't have yourself right in the center. Of the either. <laughs> I mean, it's kind of funny. It might be literally weird having you in the background, dead center between Dan and I the whole show. <laughs> Just saying, uh, you know. But I think we got another one from that same our, the same contributor. So next week we can fly it. In yeah, there. we will. We will. Mike, thanks, Mike. Excellent. So show us your booths. All right, uh, George the Tech. How do you Home get it? <laughs> Voiceover Studio. We dot talked com. about it's it. It's a dot com. Just, you, you, just, just dot com that thing and you're in there. You're fine. You're fine. All right. Hey, you want to be in our studio? Write to us at the guys at VOBS.TV. We actually have an audience tonight. Get, shoot the audience cam there. So. One of them was a guest. So yeah. Does he count? But he's on the couch and that counts as a guest during this show. So that that's important. Uh, let's see. Now, we're, we're live alternate Mondays. Like, so we won't be live until... For another two weeks, mm -hmm. so let us know if Monday of April. April, April. Yeah. yeah, and uh, but you know we do we're, we're doing the show live. We we tape it live, so it's totally spontaneous, and we don't have to edit it too much. <laughs> and then uh, we'll we'll do the tech talk next week. But our interview 
all this week with our guest. We'll be on all this week. Uh, let's see. Uh, we need to thank our sponsors because without them, <laughs> we wouldn't have a show like Harlan Hogan's voiceover essentials. Mm-hmm. Voiceover extra. Source elements. Vio to go, go. Voice actor websites.com. J. Michael Collins demos. All righty. And of course, uh, the Dan and Marcy Leonard foundation for the betterment of webcasting. Live uh, webcasting. You live webcast. Yes. Thank you. <laughs> uh, our producer, Catherine Curtin, who's out because of some family issues, yeah. but she does a great job. Was Mike Merlino, Sue's son, on the uh, chat room duty Thanks, tonight. Man. And, of course, our amazing technical director who's just got it down to a T, Sue Merlino. At least she likes to think we'll so. Fix it in person. Yeah, well, exactly. So uh, thanks to them. Uh, let's see. What else we got to talk about here? Um, oh, we got to say goodnight. Oh, we got to say goodnight. And especially Lee Penny for being Oh, yeah, don't forget Lee, Lee. Penny. We never forget Lee Penny. Oh, Lee. Well, all right. Hopefully, we gave you enough information on our show this week to. Uh, to better your career just a little bit mm-hmm. and we appreciate you watching it's not an easy business but george and i are here to help you and we're here every week on voiceover body shop so uh thanks for joining us tonight i'm dan leonard and i'm george widow and this is voiceover body shop or vo bs that was real enthusiastic oh, hello all right we'll see you next time thanks for joining us tonight